so hello guys so today i wanted to talk about regroup make them regroup okay that's what god is keep telling me today so i posted this uh on my narc free living llc pages okay and i'm gonna read from my notes from time to time because i want to make sure you understand this that we all understand this do you know how mentally psychologically emotionally spiritually strong you have to be to survive abuse and still rise narcissists went through abuse and succumbed to their false selves to their false persona in order in order to cope okay and that's exactly what they want you to do you still stood strong you still love you still forgave you still overcome everything that is meant to destroy you you are everything they are not and they know it they hate you for it because you are a survivor okay and i understand that i understanding two people can go through abuse and the one turned to god okay and is full of empathy and the other one had that personality splits in two in order for them to cope with the the trauma okay so they create a false persona because they are believed that they are not uh able to go to navigate life without this false self okay so they feel that they are not able to get love just being themselves so they created this false persona they've given into satan's uh image and go through life hurting people okay in order to achieve their goals and to get what they want that is what a narcissist is at its core okay and they lie they cheat they steal they have the spirit of of jezebel leviathan python all those legions of spirits okay of strong men of spirits in order to cope with abuse okay so you are a survivor so do you know how strong you have to be to be the outcast or the scapegoat okay you are the black sheep so the black sheep is the one that rises up above that's the one that gets called crazy but the crazy one is always the one telling the truth okay L watch and learn all right so do you know how hard it is to face people who have tried to smear your name to pray for these same people to forgive them okay it's easy to love people who love you back it's a whole other thing to love people who hate you and drag your name and despitefully use you okay do you know how hard it is to lose everything and crawl crawl your way back okay so some of us will have to downsize some of us will have to let some things go okay but life is not about material things it is about being ground grounded in jesus christ okay so do you know how hard it is to self heal to heal yourself to, to allow god to heal yourself to allow god to examine the innermost parts of you the ugly parts of you okay and some of us our parents I and mean, we've had to cry in the shower i've cried in the shower especially when when i was broken down okay and god had to build me up and i had to get in the shower to drown out those tears okay but you know god hears every tear do you know how hard it is to be at work and to put on this face as if everything is all right but inside you are dying inside inside you are hurting and you can't tell people what you are going through okay you can't tell those people at work what you're going through so do you know how hard it is to suck up those tears in front of your children so i understand that okay so it is hard to forgive people who have did the most horrendous things to you oh but god has a plan for it all and you stand strong you pray for those people you supported them and then they turn their back on you and act like they can't hear you when it's time for you to be supported okay so you know those people don't like you you know how to smile and and when you are hurting inside and you need healing okay but to smile and to heal and and god will heal you in front of those same people who tried to break you okay so remember you are a survivor you are a survivor and when god gets his hands on you you will smile again all right you will laugh again and and along the way you will go through those peaks and valleys okay oh but sweetheart when they get through gossiping about you this time okay they're not gonna have any choice but to say oh but he's doing his thing now oh but she's doing her thing now make them regroup baby make them regroup on you okay they did all that plotting and scheming coming together talking and still couldn't stop little old you still couldn't stop god's plan for you the enemy grouped all his legions of spirits together to come to take you down and they still couldn't take you down you know why because you have the power of jesus christ make them regroup baby make them regroup on you okay so this time when they see you it's gonna be like shadrach meshach and abednego okay they're gonna throw you into the fire and they're gonna say oh wait a minute it's something wrong here it's something different they still look 
they she still looks she still looks good. She still looks clean. She still looks pure. The fire is not touching her. You know why? Because it's a fourth person in there. It's another person. In there. It's God is in there with you going through that fire. So don't you worry about it. We did all that. We tried to make them bow. We tried to make her bow. We tried to make him bow. We tried to get them to succumb to our plan to bring them to our side, okay? But look at her. She has no residue on her, okay? There's a glow about her, okay? He's not worried about what he's going through. Oh, yes, his wife is a narcissist. Oh, yeah, his wife has a spirit of Jezebel and Leviathan in her. But he's not worried about it. He's giving it to God, okay? And allow God to fight that battle, all right? So when people think you acting funny, no, sweetheart. I'm just about my father's business, okay? Because time is short. Okay, so just remember, make them regroup, baby. Make them regroup on you, okay? Make them wonder what is going on inside of you that you are not downtrodden by the th by the by the plans and schemes of the enemy, okay? Make them regroup. God is not a man that she, that he should lie. They thought they were gonna break you, and God is saying, you thought that they were trying to break you, baby. I'm trying to make you, daughter. I'm trying to make you, son. Stop giving the enemy so much credit. He can only do what I allow him to do. He is up under my feet. You thought. I was crushing you, but I was showing you your calling. You thought I didn't hear your cry, but I heard every tear. Now dry your face, daughter. Stand up, my son, and go teach my gospel. Know who you are in Christ, okay? Repent, obey his word, accept his grace, and surround yourself in his love. And know that they can't do anything that God doesn't allow them to do. Just know that sometimes God is going to break you down so he can build you up. He is not crushing you. He well, if he crushes you, he's crushing you so you can so you can hit rock bottom. That's what the enemy doesn't do. He doesn't allow himself to hit rock bottom. He doesn't allow himself to be to be pruned by God. But you allow yourself to be pruned by God and don't think that everything is of the enemy. Sometimes God allows allows certain circumstances to to come into our life so he can show us so he can bless us so he can get us to the next level okay whenever you're going to the next level it's the next test right so in this level it's going to be every every level is a new is a new scheme of the devil okay and sometimes it's not of the devil it's god testing you okay so give God his glory. When you get through going through that test, give God his glory because he is a way maker. He is a healer. Okay. So we have to remember who we are, who Christ says that we are. Who does God say you are, daughter? Who does Christ say you are, son? He says in him, when you, when you, you get in him, you renew your mind. You are a new creature. All things are passed away. So you can't go doing the same things that you were doing. You want to hang out with those same people. I'm sorry to tell you, old things are going to be shared away. Okay. And that doesn't mean that you don't love them. That doesn't mean that you're not praying for them. Okay. You're praying for them to come to God as well, to come to Christ, not to find church, not to find religion, not to find men, but to find Christ. Okay. Because that's where all our ailments is. It's not in, it is not in psychology. It is not in, in anything else other than the word of God. Okay. Anything other than Christ himself, God himself, the Holy Spirit. Okay. That is what heals us. So make them regroup, baby. They thought they were doing you wrong. They thought they were harming you. And God was only saying, I'm using this as a, as a setup so I can bless you. So make them regroup on you. They thought that all that, all they did, did all that scheming on you and look at, look at you. Look at where you at now. Yeah, you're going to have some bad days. You're going to have some not so good days. But guess who is with you through them all? You have a savior. You are on the winning team. You are on the team of a God who has never lost a battle. And you and do you want to get on the team of a, of a so-called small G, small God who has lost every battle? Okay, and even if they win some, they they win the, some little victories here and there. They will never win the war. Okay, the enemy already knows. He just doesn't want you to know who you are. So if you sat on today, dry those tears. If you got to cry for a season, let cry, let it out, and then turn it all over to God. Okay, but know that He has your back. He is a healer. He is Jehovah Jireh. He is Jehovah Nisi. He is your banner, okay? When they talk about you, give it to God. Go to God and tell them, okay? And just know there's nothing that they can do. God didn't say weapons wouldn't form. He said they wouldn't prosper, okay? Make them regroup on you. Know who you are in Christ. Amen.